late 2018, Kat and I were living together in Richmond. Spring had arrived, we were both dangerously single. I had just finished my honours degree and we were ready to party. <laughs> we had ventured down to one of our favourite haunts, the Richmond Club. And on this fateful night, Catherine met the handsome South African, Brendan. Well, let me tell you, these two were absolutely inseparable from the moment they laid eyes on each other. I've always been a big believer that everything in life happens for a reason. You know, I've known Brendan for 20 years and you get to know somebody pretty well after 20 years. We've spoken about a lot. I remember he comes over and he tells me about this girl that he met. And I can see he likes her because he's getting lost in thought every single time that he's talking about her. Anyway, a couple of weeks later, I'm on the phone with him and again, we're talking about this girl that he met. And I'm like, that's great, man. He's like, yeah, I really like her. Yeah, that's good. And Next thing he says, no, you don't understand. I've never met anyone like Kat before. What's going on here? And then the words I never expected to hear come out of that man's mouth. I think I love him. I'm like, what? 20 years, I've never heard this man talk like this. I mean, who is this goddess? She must ooze deity, float when she walks. I mean, I don't know, too good for walking. You know, Kat, I revel in the fact that Brendan's actually here in Australia because it was me who threw endless phone calls, convincing, perseverance, finally convinced Brendan to make this move and come to Australia. So Kat, in some small way, shape or form, I like to think that I'm responsible for today. Catherine, today I stand here ready to take you as my wife, best friend and lifelong partner in marriage. As husband and wife, I know we can accomplish anything that stands in our way. Give me your wrong directions while driving, our messy room and never ending laundry. <laughs> while all these items are enough to drive me crazy, they all fade away into the background, knowing that the love we have for each other grows stronger every day. My love. You have taught me patience, understanding and open communication in our relationship while showing me respect, trust and compassion. You have made me the happiest man and I promise to share my whole heart with you and care for you no matter what challenges come away. I vow to be your biggest fan and partner in crime. I promise to never keep score even when I'm clearly winning. I promise to be there to catch you if you should stumble and to support a family with you with a home filled with love, happiness and understanding. From this moment on, I will love you whether we're rich or poor, healthy or sick, young or old. I pledge to hold these promises dear to my heart for the rest of my life and always be there as I've given my life to you.
My darling Brendan, I still remember the first time I laid eyes on you. I remember thinking I need to find an excuse to approach this good looking man. As much as you like to change the story to say you picked me up, we all know it was the other way around. <laughs> Other than being a total babe, I quickly learnt how tenacious, hardworking, kind and considerate you are. You are the yin to my yang. We have been through so much together, the good, the bad and the in-between, waiting for visas, Melbourne lockdowns and toilet paper shortages, moving states with COVID, trips to the hospital and a few surgeries, getting a dog, buying a house, planning this wedding and so much more. We have survived it all by leaning on each other. I want you to remember every day that I love having you in my life, even on the days I tell you that you're challenging me. I take you as you are, loving you, who you are now and who you are yet to become. I know we will change, but we will change together and we will accept those changes in each other. In some areas we are fiercely different, but it's those differences that I love so much about you. We share the same values in friends, family, helping others, career aspirations and growing a family together. I promise to always listen to how your day was and to try as hard as I can not to give you practical advice to resolve your workplace conflicts, even when you just want to vent and be told you are right. <laughs> I promise to support your dreams and life goals as much as I can by working together to build financial security, as well as supporting you mentally and spiritually and comforting you during challenging moments. I promise to stand by you through thick or thin. Even when we go through tough times, I will persist and fight for our love. I promise to mean more than just your wife, but a life partner and your confidant. Wherever we are, I will make it feel like home for you. I know we are going to have an amazing marriage and life together. I will love you forever and always, Brendan. It now gives me great pleasure to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> We pray for God's blessing on them in their life together and thank him for the ongoing support they have from all of you. Catherine, Mum and I are proud to have you as our caring and thoughtful, capable and wonderful daughter. Brendan, Sue and I are proud to have you as our caring and thoughtful, capable and wonderful son-in-law. May the pleasures of this life be doubled and the cares of this world halved as you share your lives with each other and Nala. I count my lucky stars that you had the courage to make that first move. Not only am I privileged to call you my best friend, but now also my beautiful wife. I never knew what I was missing in my life before I met you. Uh, you have always been the source of love, cheerfulness, and support throughout our relationship. Thank you for having me as your husband and filling me with joy each day. Thank you. Thank you.